What is going on, everybody? We got some breaking news that impacts you and me and the crypto industry. And that is one of the main reasons I've been watching cable television in this week. Uh, if you guys are not aware of the default on June 1st, which we need to increase the debt ceiling, if we don't do it, if the Republicans and Democrats don't agree on something right, then terrible things are going to happen. And I want to explain to you what are those and what the implications are. And what are the breaking news? Well, what, while we were sleeping, probably Joe Biden said something that, well, I think you have to listen to it first. I'm not going to agree to a deal that protects wealthy tax sheets and crypto traders while putting food assistance at risk for nearly 100, well, I assume nearly 1 million Americans. And it's time for Republicans to accept that there is no bipartisan deal to be made solely solely on their partisan terms well that is obviously you blame the older party right obviously they that's what they all do and i was listening to a conversation they had at the white house earlier this week when chuck schumer and then uh the speaker of the house mccarthy and you know M mcconnell and biden they talked right and they are like okay it's coming closer to a deal we are in engaging in conversations, but as always, Republicans want tax cuts, which benefit, you know, you and me and, you know, some other corporations. Democrats want more social programs and money given from the government to people. It's, you know, that's what, what happens. But here it's mentioning that it seems that Republicans wants, to, they want to give us tax cuts to the crypto traders. They want to give us some options, right? To do more serious crypto to advance the industry and biden is saying no i'm not gonna do that and he says oil he says pharmaceuticals and when the last thing he said it was about the crypto traders and tax sheets and it seems that thus far there's no deal now let me show you the following the biden confident us will avoid you know the the default that was what i've heard a couple days ago White House and Republicans make no progress on debt ceiling. Then he says that it's going to be avoided, right? Here's what could happen if the market, to the markets, if default happens and it won't be pretty. Then I started looking around and it's all online, right? The U.S. default will lead to a slump in the stock market and bond markets. It just will cause financial stunning in the world. Now, the debt ceiling deadline is June 1st. So, we still have today is the 21st so there's still a couple of days or a little bit over a week for them to make a decision on this because if not you could probably guess what's going to happen to our crypto industry and the stock market they're going to go down and if you're looking into buying a lot i think here's really the bottom line of this if they agree on something, which I think they would, they're not that stupid to let it go default and then we're going to have massive problems in the markets. They have to, you know, uh, take their ego and make something for the general public, the U.S., you know, citizens. Obviously, they have to say yes on a, on a deal and then we avoid this one because it's been forever since we haven't had a default from what I've heard from the Treasury Secretary, from the Federal Chairman and, and more people. So... That is one of the reasons you think about it in the last week, not major altcoins, right, are doing anything. And we only have really meme coins doing something because of the default, because of what's going on. And I think that's what really is driving the market right now. No major whale wants to buy knowing that there could be a default and massive prices can go down. On the other hand, if no deal occurs, and that's really what looms, right? And that's how the market is taking it so far. Shorts, shorts, shorts. A lot of people are going to be short in the market, which not only the default news is going to cause capitulation, but shorting is going to bring it to a new, probably new lows, levels that we haven't seen in a while, you know, starting with Bitcoin. But of course, the outcome reckoning will also continue even further. Make sure you are aware those are the breaking news that I can provide to you what Biden said. He doesn't really want to give any tax cuts or any tax advantages from what I hear to the crypto industry, to you and me, because it is the way that it is. 
obviously crypto is being put at and looked at from the federal government as the bad guy as someone who you don't want to help right now because it's a lot of scams and you know uh money laundering and the, you know the, what criminals do but you and i know it's the future is decentralization we have to bear with this while other countries are passing us in legislation and leadership have a good one everybody like and subscribe peace